peace and quiet. I wonder if I did fetch me tea out here. I'll just go back out in the yard and have me tea under the tarpaulin with me bike, if you like. Well, our Billy's been in and out like a yo-yo all day. I'm fed up of cleaning up after him. Ah, well, don't take it out on me. And where is the grubby little sod, any road? He's just taken a basin of tater pie round to his granddad's. Right, I'll nail the door shut. Hey, you haven't give him all the pie crust, have you? Don't worry. There's plenty left for you. He is your father, you know. Don't begrudge him a bit of crust. Hey, you um, too bloody hiya. late. <laughs> oh, shut the door, Billy. It's blowing a tornado out there. Um, yeah, I know, but... Oh, Dad, Michael was there. Well, he's not now. Oh, well, there's no need to slam it. The wind took it out of my hand. Oh, fetch him in, Alf. Oh, Luke. Why, what's the matter? Oh, he's all right. He's just playing in a puddle in the backyard. You've knocked him in a puddle, you mean, when you slammed the door in his face? Well, what's the soft sod still sat there in it for? Oh, Michael, get up, love. Come inside out of the rain. Yeah, come in, Michael. It's all right. Come on, love. You dry your bottom near the fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your bum's wet. Hush, Billy is upset. Hey, make him take his shoes off near the door like I have to. Hush up, Alf. Take no notice, Michael, love. You stand there till you're dry. Don't let Mr Bradshaw in to make you. His bite's worse than his bark is. No, you don't have to be scared of me, Dad, Michael. I'm not. Um, just joking, Dad. <laughs> I'm going to put Billy's tea out now, Michael. Do you like tater pie? Right. Well, I'll just give you a little bit to warm you up. Then you won't spoil your tea. That's good, isn't it, Michael? Don't waste the crust on him, Audrey. Don't be so tight, Alf Bradshaw. Well, he'll be having his own tea after, won't he? There'll be nought left for my supper later on, will there? That's the least you can do after what you've done to him. Yeah, Dad. What do you mean, after what I've done to him? Not exactly dead, is he? Well, not from the neck down, anyway. He only fell on his ass in a puddle. Don't be so vulgar. You shouldn't talk like that in front of these two. Well... <laughs> Michael, look at all that steam coming from your back of your trousers. It looks dead funny. <laughs> See, it's drying off nicely now, isn't it? I hope that's what it is and all. I get in trouble for doing that, Michael. Doing what? Oh, don't be so vulgar. Oh, yeah, I get that, Dad. <laughs> you gay, Michael. 